welcome to Wet Tiny Hospital Podcast. In today's episode, we will talk about cervical cancer, one of the most common cancer in women. Dr. Jutha t i p u n s a t t a a gynecologist of Wet Tiny Hospital, is still here with me. Hello, doctor. Thank you for joining us again today. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I think every woman is a face of cervical cancer because it goes slowly. And it doesn't show any noticeable signs and symptoms in its early stage. So I would like to know: Are there any signs or symptoms of cervical cancer that people might look over it? Actually, uh, most of the patients that have early stage of cancer, cervical cancer, might not have any sign or symptom at all. So actually, we can detect uh, the early stage of the cervical cancer by abnormal Pap test or abnormal Pap smear. And it will lead to abnormal cell cytology at the cervix. So, but however, in some patients, they can have some symptoms like uh, abnormal discharge, leukorrhea, or smelly uh, discharge from the vagina. And in some patient, has the abnormal bleeding. Mm-hmm. Not much patient will have pain in her pelvis or in her abdomen that related to the cancer of the cervix. So, what are the causes or l i x factors for cervical cancer? Nowadays, we found that 99% of the cancer of the cervix got HPV infection. So, HPV infection is the human papilloma virus. Is the virus that can be infected by sexually transmitted disease. So, 99% of the patients got HPV infection. But not in controversy, the HPV infection patient might not have cervical cancer, so it's not equally. Mm-hmm. So because HPV infection is the sexual transmitted disease, so if the patient has the risk factor of multiple partner, has a history of sexual transmitted disease before, or if the patient has low immunity. Like a patient with a HIV infection or patient who need to have a the medication that uh, suppress the immunity that is the risk factor to have the HPV infection and the cervical cancer after. But I wonder, during the HPV infection, in the case that you see that there are some abnormalities, is it able to prevent or reduce the risk of developing cervical cancer? Actually, there is no definitely prevent of the cervical cancer from HPV infection, but we can prevent HPV infection by safe sex, like use condom. It's just like uh, the way that we save uh, that we avoid the sexual transmitted disease. But if you got HPV infection already, most of the people who got HPV infection, their immunity can get rid of the HPV virus. By themselves, so it's just minority of the patient with HPV infection will turn their cervix uh, cell into abnormal cell, and if in some people that have abnormal cell will turn and turn and turn until they get to be a cancer. Mm-hmm. So like. If you got HPV infection, no need to worry that you will have cancer for sure. No, because normally you can get rid of it, especially if you are aged lower than 30 years old. Okay, in case that cervical cancer has developed, is it able to treat it? Uh, to treat the cervical cancer, of course, we have a, a treatment option for cervical cancer, and it depends on the stage of the cancer. So before we will. Uh, Give the treatment to the patient. We need to estimate the stage of the cancer of the cervix of the patient. If the patient has only stage one of the cancer, normally we will do the surgery for them. And the, okay, this is uh, roughly. So the stage two or stage three or stage four, maybe the patient will go to have a radio uh, therapy. Mm-hmm. Radioactive therapy or chemotherapy. It depends on the cell type of the cancer, and it depends mm-hmm. on the stage, and it depends on the condition of the patient. Oh, I see. Okay. Last but not least, I believe every woman want to know the ways of how to prevent cervical cancer. 
Can you please give a suggestion? Of course, because as I told, the cervical cancer at the early stage, early stage of the cervical cancer, patient may not have sign or symptom at all. So, the way that we can detect the cervical cancer is we suggest uh, women to go to have an annual checkup. For now, the guideline of the checkup is when the women age beyond 25, if they have sexual intercourse, should have pap test for cervical cancer screening every year. And if the women um, who might not have sexual intercourse before, the age is 30. So if you're beyond 30 years old, you should have a cervical cancer screening. Mm -hmm. And nowadays we have the test for HPV infection. So if you have negative test for pap smear, and you also have negative test for HPV infection, then the next time that you should have the screening again is next five years. So it's very convenient. So if you test for pap test and HPV infection, it will decrease the time that you need to do pap smear and the cervical cancer screening. So you can be sure that you are less likely to have cervical cancer within five years. Okay, mm -hmm. what about the vaccine, the HPV vaccine? Okay, uh, the HPV vaccine, uh, in uh, some people that call it a uh, cervical cancer vaccine, So, but actually it prevents the HPV infection. So the vaccine uh, now in the market, they have the two types of HPV, four types of HPV, and nine types of HPV. Because HPV, the HPV, HPV virus has many many types of the uh, the human papilloma virus, but it has a higher group, the high risk group of the HPV infection that can be cause of the cervical cancer. In among the highest group, HPV type 16 and 18 is the highest risk of the cervical cancer. Only two subtypes, 16 and 18, can cause of 70% of cervical cancer. So the vaccine nowadays, mostly uh, all of the vaccine will attack to prevent uh, infection of the HPV subtype 16 and 18. Mm. Mm -hmm. And for four types of vaccine, they will prevent HPV type 16, 18, that is 70% of cervical cancer, and they add type A, uh, 6, and 11. But HPV type 6 and 11 can cause genital wart, not cervical cancer. So it can prevent cervical cancer and can prevent the genital wart as well. Mm. Right now we have nine type vaccine. Mm -hmm. So it will prevent seven subtypes of high risk HPV at subtype 6 and 11 to prevent genital wart. So you can uh, discuss with your gynecologic doctor mm -hmm. any vaccine, any type that you can have to prevent HPV infection and prevent the cervical cancer. Okay, thank you doctors for giving us a lot of knowledge about cervical cancer as HPV and also letting us know the ways of how to treat and prevent it. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. For the next episode, we will talk about the ways of how to lose weight fast but healthily. So please follow us on Spotify and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a notification when we upload the new health care tips for you. See you in the next episode. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ